The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Yorktown Heights, New York, Mandy Rose. Take a look at the talent in competition here. You can see exactly why the WWE Universe is so amped up for this one. One of the most anticipated matches we've had in quite some time. And this woman is the reason why. One of the best women's competitors in history. And from Forest Lake, Minnesota, Molly Holly. She kicked her cape to the curb and found her true calling, grinding people into the mat. A women's champion, hardcore champion, and the only woman to ever get her head shaved at WrestleMania. Now that's passion. Respect the work this superstar has been putting in in order to meet the kind of challenge he faces tonight. Without a doubt, we've seen the hard work paying off. You don't find yourself in a match like this without dedicating your time into your craft. All that time spent has her in a good position to pull off a victory here. And also in the ring is Molly Holly, a staple of the Attitude Era. Molly was part of many colorful and memorable moments. She even donned a superhero alter ego at one time. But underneath it all, Molly's always stayed true to herself. That's the real lasting impact she's had here in WWE, as a symbol of what you can achieve when you never lose sight of yourself and your goals. Dominating shoulder tackle, and that one misses the mark. Oh, straight forearm. She can end it here. Kick out at one. Impressive to not even allow a two count at this juncture. She is just desperately trying to fight out of it. Uh-oh, Dragon Sleeper applied. This could be it. Showing the world just how much fight she's got left. Oh, what an elbow high on the chin. Looking bad for her here. Holding the shoulder hostage now. Damage to the shoulder. That could be it. She kicks out at one. She's still in this one. Russian leg sweep. Boom, what a kick. She avoids the attack completely. Oh, look at this here. Arm wrench. There is a fine line between strain and pain when your shoulder is worked like that. Turning the tables. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Oh, man, taking it to the trachea. She got her down. Is this it? Kicks out on the pinfall attempt. It's not over yet. Plenty left to go in this one. Ooh, what a forearm club. Nice Japanese arm drag. <laughs> oh, Molly caught by the counter. She's got an answer for that. To the outside. <laughs> this could get wild.
Ah, sit out, Matt Slam. She'll take things into the ring. She's taking things to ringside. Oh, look at this here, arm wrench. Focusing on the shoulder like that can be felt all the way to your fingertips. Disgusting behavior. There was no respect shown there. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. And a slap for the exclamation point. Showing absolutely no mercy at all. What an onslaught. Molly Holly is having problems here. Yeah, Holly needs to plot a way to get back into this. Oh my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. They got their opponent now. What are they looking for here? Oh. Send over the top rope. Not done yet. Oh, the knee. That could be curtains for Molly. Shoulders down. And they're still in this. I do not know how they got up from that. Operating on pure instinct and adrenaline right now. I don't know if there's more frustration or desperation in the ring now, knowing that you've tried to end this and failed. Ah, and Molly Holly answers back. Now would be the time for everyone to clear out. Easier said than done. They are not concerned about anyone else's well-being. The fallaway slam. <laughs> Holly's hopes are waning here. Yeah, Holly needs to plot a way to get back into this. Boys, that one big form. This has become a monumental struggle for these competitors. It is down to who still has the energy, the resolve to put the pedal to the metal. <laughs> Continuing to attack the neck. Draped over the top rope. Sent into the corner. Looking for a scoop slam, but from behind, inverted DDT connects. All measured up. Go oh, from behind, that'll give you some whiplash. And now she's climbing to the top turnbuckle. Even letting the ref get to the two count. Molly caught by surprise. <laughs> Lay out with a power slam. Planted face first. She scores big with the counter. Defensive elbow to the gut ends that. All the way up for a suplex. No, 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 no. Wiggles free from behind. Chop block. Suplex attempt. Able to go behind, though. Into a chop block. <laughs> snap mare. Oh, and the rolling neck snap. Oh. But this one can be lost by count out. Taken down. And Molly willing herself to stay in this matchup. Molly's staying alive, but 
you just know she's got to be thinking of a way to end all this as soon as humanly possible. Molly caught by surprise. The fallaway slam. You can feel the WWE Universe reverberating off every corner in this building. Molly taking a step back and measuring her opponent. Oh, forearm connects. Punishing the leg. Drop kick. Drop kick. Oh, oh, great height. This is unique. Inverted surfboard and a wrist clock submission. What's gonna happen? Looks like she has other plans here. I think she was just looking to soften her up a little there. <laughs> oh, saw it coming and got an elbow for their truck. Butterfly double underhook up and face buster! Head to the pay window. the losing end of this one. Holly tried her best, but just couldn't quite get it done. The consummate underdog of the women's division, Zelina Vega. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, representing the LWO from Queens, New York, Zelina Vega. Zelina has seen a tremendous amount of success lately. She won the Queen's crown and reformed the LWO. And Zelina's not showing any signs of slowing down. Zelina was no stranger to success before, but now she seems destined for the top. Gentlemen, this has all the makings of an all-time classic match, and I fully expect it to deliver on that promise.
She loves the reaction she receives from the WWE Universe, and I think she's going to take that energy into the match, too. Zelina out here tonight, ready for competition. You know, don't let her size fool you. Zelina is as ruthless and as mean as they come once that bell rings. What she may lack in stature, she more than makes up for in status, Cole. Everyone's stock goes up when Zelina's around, so put some respect on her name. Oh, my sincerest apologies, Corey. We'll still have to see if Zelina will raise her own stock at the end of this match. But she better be prepared for who she has in the ring with her. An opponent that's proven to be one of the most athletically gifted talents in WWE. DDT! Kneeling. Beautiful senton. What a counter! The better part of Valor. Placed in the corner. Ah, pump kick in a quarter. Knees up, had that telegraph, but can it be capitalized on? <laughs> Suplex attempt. Able to go behind, though. Escapes and a chop block takes him down. Check your face after that. Play it possum! Whoa! Play it possum! No early kick out. Getting that shoulder up seemed to be pretty easy. Textbook head scissor takeover. Very nicely done. Corey, we know that Zelina isn't afraid to get her hands dirty when she's in the ring. She'll do anything it takes to get the victory and maintain her status. So what do you think is the best strategy for her competition? Other than begging her for mercy? In all seriousness, though. Zelina usually has a size or strength disadvantage coming into a match. So decide which advantage you want to utilize and stick to the plan. Oof. Out on the apron. Oh, this oh. is going to be bad. This is going to be really bad. Nasty. The hardest part of the ring. That was quite the impact on the apron. You might be in shock now, but you'll be feeling lasting pain for a few weeks to come. Throws her back in from ringside. Yeah. Running Hurricane Rana. Quick reflex is so important in a match like this. Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. Yeah. Kick to the gut. Double <laughs> under hook. Yikes. Togo bar. Into the pin attempt. There's two. Oh, and she picked up a monumental win. Here is your winner, Tony Storm. Zelina Vega defeated in this one. You have to imagine that Zelina is going to dust herself off and try again after an effort like this.
Carter and Katana Chance, the Warriors of NXT. The following is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, the team of Katana Chance and Kaden Carter. Somehow their energy's already turned up to 11. Get ready for some super athletic competition from Chance and Carter, folks. I cannot wait to see it. And the after party is going to be pretty great as well. Here comes the sensational one. And their opponents, first from New Orleans, Louisiana, Sherry acts up shrieking screams with unending assaults. Uh, check her resume, Saxton. Sherry has been dominant in WCW, ECW, and of course, WWE. A bona fide manager of champions who has been a champion in her own right. A ruthless individual, a vicious competitor. I can see why they call her Scary Sherry. Oh, enough with the disgraceful slander, Cole. You wouldn't say that to her face. Sherry's an elite competitor. Straight out of Sin City, she is one to watch in WWE. Yeah, a powerhouse threat in the women's division. And from Las Vegas, Nevada, the WWE Women's Champion, Zoe Stark! I love Zoe Stark's energy and love of competition. Well, there's no accounting for taste, but she has proven it by capturing the NXT Women's Tag Team titles. She calls herself undeniable. Well, it's time to prove it. I have every bit of confidence that she will. Katana Chance and Caden Carter, two superstars who refuse to let their diminutive stature define them. In fact, they even consider their size an asset. Yeah, for as small as they are, they more than make up for that with their athleticism and unorthodox offensive style. Chance and Carter's in-ring dynamic really is unmatched. They can do things in the ring we've never even seen before. And we're here in Orlando, a breeding ground for many of the WWE's top superstars, thanks to the Performance Center. Breeding ground for great commentators, too. And and there's Saxton. I don't know how you got bread. Ah. And here come the punches. Practically never-ending blows coming at full force here. Counter from Carter. Hooked up. Shin breaker. And Caden was scouted there. Places her right in the corner. And the manager is searching under the ring. He can only be looking for something to bury us down there. A counter answered by another counter. Jarring impact. Oh! Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Ah, stops the legs. Quick thinking pays off. Otter. Down with a face buster. Ooh. And Sherry is one step quicker. Ooh. Across the top rope, all the way to the floor. You will this be enough? She kicks out with a 
or two. Close call. That was almost lights out. Basement drop kick. Both arms captured, and vitriolic stumps. Attack after attack on target. Putting the boots to an opponent will take the fight out of them in a hurry. Tossed into the corner. Ooh, she just turned it around. Series of elbows looking to create separation. She does so. Oh, an overhand chop. Now tagging her in. Oh, round and round we go. Tilt the world head scissors. Great counter by Sherry. Oh, man. Shot right to the midsection. That was that chemistry you cannot teach. Great strength being shown here. Lands face first. Torturous focus on the leg in the corner. The legs are a base that you do not want to lose. Chopping down the tree at the base here. <laughs> Standing on the hair. And now she retreats. And quickly she has to take this moment to pull herself together. There's a roll through. Super kick in the face. Up high and bionic elbow driven down. She's on unsteady legs in the corner. Needs to recover. strategy there. Great response to Sherry there. She shoots up the top rope. Dangerous thinking. <laughs> Placing them into the corner. Just a ruthless assault in the corner. Just mauling their opponent. Aggressive headlock into a wet willy. Reminds me of high school. 
There's her tag. Eat defeat. Lives to fight another day. Oh, look at head scissors. Boom. Head scissors DDT. And Stark hung tough, but that looked like it took a toll. Katana stepping up to a challenge. Into a Hurricane Rana. Spiked him. Tag switching it up. Wheelbarrow Hurricane Rana. Very nice takedown. Oh, using the rope to their advantage. Very effective. Monster set up in the corner, and that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. That's a free fall. Tag made, she's in. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Russian leg sweep. Not done there. These will keep you down. Oh my goodness, dribbling the shoulders down. This could be the one that does it for her. She breaks the ref's count. Wow. to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Single leg takedown. Step over toe hold. This would be an um. And she escapes the submission. Oh, that'll turn your skin red. Oh, in goes Paul. Oh, submission hold applied. Yes, it is. Oh my god. And for some reason, she lets go of the hold. Could have just been a tease of the potential agony that's yet to come. Set up in the corner of the ring. Oh, wrist lock up to the top rope. Oh, oh my god, the moonsault. Using the hair to drag their opponent down. Oh, no! Look at this! How punishing! There's a tag. Hazardous intentions in mind here. Back suplex. Tope Atomico. So agile. For the win! change your career here are your winners the team of katana chance and kaden carter the party bus is going to be full tonight after this win from carter and chance maybe a little hyperbolic but these two performed like they're born to be a tag team if they stay together watch out
the most extravagant, flamboyant, and tastiest team in all of WWE. Pretty deadly has arrived. Say it with me, gentlemen. Yes, boy. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, accompanied by Elton Prince, representing Pretty Deadly from London, England, weighing in at 185 pounds, Kit Wilson. Here's a team who are completely in sync with each other. The epitome of teamwork. Yeah, they're also in sync when it comes to annoying their opponents as well. Yes, boy! Stop saying that. Come on, Byron. Give me one. Yes, I boy! Not. No, I'm not saying it, Corey. Do it. Do it. I know this is almost impossible to do, but, but somehow this superstar has got to put the mind games aside. It cannot show fear against The Undertaker or else this superstar will rest in peace. The dead man has returned. The entire WWE Universe is in absolute awe. What a moment. And his opponent, representing the Brothers of Destruction from Death Valley, weighing in at 309 pounds. One half of the NXT UK Tag Team Champions, the The creatures of the night are out in full force tonight. Representing an unbreakable bond that the dead man has had with the WWE Universe for over three decades. I've seen this walk for 25 years, and I'm always in awe. The Undertaker transcends eras transcends sports entertainment. A true phenom in every sense of the word. Think of the incredible resume of The Undertaker. Won the Royal Rumble, conquered Hell in a Cell, and won 21 consecutive WrestleMania matches. Arguably the most incredible competitor in WWE history, and the decades of destruction continue. The rap of the Reaper annihilates your body and your soul. Impossible to prepare for, unfeasible to predict. Every step the Phenom takes, you're one step closer to your demise. It is a grave mistake to assume that you will survive. With the bell, we're ready to see The Undertaker continue his legacy in WWE. 
The Phenom is one of the most dominant superstars the WWE Universe has ever seen. His strength, size, and speed, they've all made him a daunting opponent for anyone who's ever stepped into the ring with him. The Undertaker is definitely an imposing challenge to overcome. But let's not forget about Kit Wilson. Cunning, competitive, chic. The masses may not want to accept it, but he's the complete package. Hey, Saxton, give me a yes, boy. A uh, yes, boy. Uh, and don't forget conceited, Corey. But love him or hate him, Kit Wilson isn't someone to overlook or look past when you're in the ring with him. He's just as dangerous as he is debonair. Oh, flipping the script on him there. Oh, right to the shoulder. Now he's been put on the defensive. Big forearm. his manager doing looking under the ring. He can't be acting like this. What's your plan of attack going up against someone like The Undertaker? Well, it's not easy to formulate a plan for Taker, Cole. We've seen him take his opponents to hell and back. You have to be willing to go there with him. Matching the lengths that Undertaker's willing to go is a start. Perhaps if you do that, you'll make the dead man slightly mortal. Uh-oh. Jawbreaker! Call the dentist. Big forearm. Undertaker counters. Being carried around with ease. Oh, right across the throat. On oh, the leg toss. I'll just leave it at this. Nobody comes into a match hoping to get chucked around. Undertaker. It's going to too close to the ropes. Yep, and the hold is broken. Oh, foot just stomping down. He's struggling a bit here. I'm sure the Undertaker can feel his opponent's soul fade. This could do it. Just after two. At this point in the match, that could have gone either way. Vicious right forearm. Oh, point of the elbow finds the mark. Placed into the corner. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxon. He might get caught. Catches an uppercut. Kit feeling a sense of confidence here. Oof. Answer that with a stiff knee. No, oh, that's not right. Somebody do something about that. I see how it is. Going to take any shortcut to bypass a clean competition. Hey, there's nothing wrong with a shortcut, Saxton. Spare! The uniqueness of Kit Wilson on full display. Showing off, but also showing out. Good Lord, scarily close to three. Undertaker is on the fringes here. Could be disastrous. Kit gets reversed. You know, I've noticed some friction lately between these superstars. Well, you can't be friends with everybody. I've noticed the same. There's definitely something of a rivalry here. Cover! Two! That'll do it! The victory tonight! Here is your winner, The Undertaker! This has to be a crushing loss for Kit Wilson. Statistically speaking, the cards were stacked in Taker's favor going into this match. He knew it. I knew it. Looks like only his opponent didn't.
gentlemen, bow down to the almighty dollar. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Palm Beach, Florida, weighing in at 260 pounds, the NXT UK champion, the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase. The Million Dollar Man has been able to afford the best training money can buy. And DiBiase is a multiple time tag team champion, a WrestleMania main eventer. I'd say it was money well spent. The winner's bonus tonight is pocket change to Ted DiBiase, but he still fights for every dollar he earns. Yeah, you can't underestimate the motivation of the million dollar man. Hey, Michael, <clears throat> it's fight night! You've obviously never, ever been in a fight, like ever, in your entire life. Please, never do that again, Saxton, for all of our sakes. You've never been in a bar, either. And his opponent, representing the Brawling Brutes from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 205 pounds. That smash mouth, in your face style, that's what the Brutes are all about. What they do in that ring is a typical Saturday night at the pub. So that should give you an idea of the kind of dudes the Brutes are. The Brutes look more than ready to compete. Corey, what's your analysis? Banger. The Million Dollar Man lives his life outside the ring in the lap of luxury, looking down on everyone else from his private jet or being chauffeured around in a stretch limo. But he will have to get his hands dirty here. Will he though, Michael? The Kimura, oh, the Kimura! Uh, Kimura lock. Hey, look at this! Kimura lock! Nowhere to go but perhaps! Oh my God! They broke out of it! He skirts away, living to fight another day. What a clothesline! Ouch! As much of a brawling brute as Butch is, we've seen him outsized by many superstars in WWE, Corey. Well, size has never been a concern of Butch's goal. He faces every opponent with the same spit and vinegar, and that's what makes him so dangerous. I would say Butch fights with a chip on his shoulder, but it's more like a brick. Close line! Oh, that'll leave a mark. Oh, man, that was nasty. They weren't that good looking anyway. Oh, look out! Corkscrew elbow drop. Boom, Butch with a timely counter. And knees to the back. are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. And that 
stops what Butch had intended. Modified suplex directly into the armbar. Nicely done. Look at the transition into the hammerlock arm breaker. This is agonizing. Oh, man. Oh! Drawing dangerously close to a count out here. He eludes the contact. These two showing how well scouted they each are. Ooh. Ooh. Drop. Ooh. Messy. Ooh. He turns it around. Wrenching the arm. Driven all the way. Can he score the pin? Uh, maybe. Gets the shoulder up in one. He is going to take this match as long and as far as he needs to. DiBiase wards that attack off. Whatever you can do, I can do better. Counters on top of counters. That hit connects from the million dollar man. Stiff kick. And this one might be headed rings. Big clothesline looking to turn the tides in this matchup. A thump cover. Shoulders are down. He gets the shoulder up in two. Somehow, some way. We'll be looking to end things here with the Cobra Clutch. Fading quickly. Will this match end on a submission? He let it go. Yeah, I wonder why. Butch turns that away. Incredible reversal into a DDT. Butch. Oh, this is interesting. Butch with the X-Plex. Cover! Two! Yes, Butch able to get the victory. Here is your winner, Butch! Unfortunately for the Million Dollar Man, things did not go his way. There are some things money can't buy, including a win here for the Million Dollar Man.
The Judgment Day is here. Everyone in their way is doomed. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, accompanied by Rhea Ripley at a combined weight of 439 pounds. The SmackDown Tag Team Champions and the NXT Tag Team Champions, Finn Balor and Damian Priest. The Judgment Day. A unified front of highly decorated, highly skilled, highly dangerous competitors. When united, they are truly lethal. And they consider themselves inevitable, as if nobody can stop them. Well, nobody has so far. The Judgment Day truly at the height of their powers. Their accolades continue to grow. Yeah, their list of victims continues to grow as well, Michael. They want to be feared and respected. Well, I don't respect them, but I definitely fear them. Better get ready. The WWE Universe has been counting the days, hours, and minutes for this match to start, and the countdown is almost over. Here we go with the Judgment Day in the ring. This group causes chaos and destruction wherever they go, all in the pursuit of amassing as much power as they can. Judgment Day is a legitimate threat to anyone in WWE. They have cover. One. Fending off a two count there. Still in it. Big elbow. Look at this. Snap suplex. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, look at this aggression, just oh, pure brutality. Come on, easy. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Now, this is a textbook example of how to bend the rules. Using the forearm to their advantage. Now, that was a very questionable attack. I think it goes beyond any gray area. And Balor's looking determined. Finn is reaching that That's other attack. level. Oh, she has bad intentions Tag now. Removing the turnbuckle pad. Tag made. Tag made. Planning on what to do next. <laughs> just toss. She could airline mouse for that. It might not be flashy, but sometimes you just gotta toss another person to make a statement. He's one step ahead there. <laughs> counter after counter. Uh-oh. 
These two battling to a dead heat with these reversals. Oh, just floating through the air. I can't believe the ropes held up. We're lucky they didn't just snap. Bam! Finn Balor tags in. Getting him into the corner. A drop kick to follow. What the heck is this manager doing looking under the ring? She can't be acting like this. Strikes with a kick. Kicks to the face. Oh, oh man. Good grief. Turn your lights out. Just going all out with every blow. Three. Ooh. Toss back into the ring. And full control here. Face full of turnbuckle. Oh, impressive counter. Leaping hook. And he goes for the pin. What is the ref doing? Don't worry about that now. Get down and count. And he easily stops the ref's count. These men knew this match is going to be hard fought. And he was able to turn that around on Balor. Boom. Uh-oh. Balor retaliates. Inverted face lock. Oh, she's removing the turnbuckle pad. Come on, this isn't right. Ducking out of trouble. Arm sister, look at these vicious kicks to the jaw. And any one of those shots could take you out for good. And he gets the tag. Super kick! And Priest is really fired up. Tag is made, and here we go. Oh, merciless knee to the face. A knee drop! Oh, right to the chest. Right to the back of the leg. Priest tied that one. Oh, wicked. This could be a cover. Shoulder up, and the referee ends the count. Strong kick out, but you have to wonder if he can keep it up. Larian. Left by the turnbuckles. Stuck in the tree of woe. No escape in sight. Hung in the tree of woe. And that was a precisely measured attack. Uh-oh. Finds the room to land a back elbow. Just breaking down the opponent. He's getting a little battered now. He reverses it. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. What a close line! Tag is registered.
damaging blow. showing by this tag team. That wasn't just a win, Cole. That was a top-level tag team performance. Take it from a former NXT tag champ. Those two titles adding a little swagger to his walk. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion and the NXT Champion, Seth. When you're a champion, you have challengers and threats coming at you from all angles. When you're a double champion, well, I'd consider sleeping with one eye open, just in case. I'm sure he's already doing that, Corey, keeping his head on a swivel. Hauling around two titles does put a huge target on his back, though. Everyone wants a piece of him, a shot at one of those titles, but he's holding it on with a vice-like grip. The WWE Universe just exploded! Social media has been buzzing since this match was announced, and I think the competitors plan on delivering on that hype. He is about to face what some call the gatekeeper of this industry. Well, anyone who thinks they're any good has to prove it first against Seth freaking Rollins. And I have to 
to say the champ looks ready, maybe even eager for this matchup. Probably feeling a little extra confident knowing that the title isn't in contention here, but this could still be a hard-fought match. I don't think there's much question of that. And let us not forget about the visionary Seth freaking Rollins, who always has a strategy, always has a game plan, and always has the upper hand. And always has a penchant to get under his opponent's skin, too. Stomping away. Great counter impressive ring IQ on display there. Whoa, not quite yet. Super kick finds the mark. Moves outside. What's the plan here? We're looking for a schoolboy. Uh oh. Uh -oh. One is headed outside, guys. A knee of the revolution style by Rollins. Boom. Oh, man, he is fired up now. Take down, put it to the cross face, gets cinched in. This We're going to. Free the arm and does just that. Effective arm drag. Rollins might need to adapt a little better after that. Boom! When you're taking on a mastermind like Seth Rollins, the most important thing to remember is that you have to take away his ability to control the match. Pace is a good place to start. If Rollins wants things fast, slow them down. If he tries to be methodical, start out running it. Yeah, owning the tempo here could definitely fluster Rollins. Tornado step suplex. Amazing. Schoolboy. No, rolls through. And a super kick. Oh, he retaliates. And the rope forces the break. Great effort, though. Able to elude it. Single leg drop kick caught him. Oh, that might have just broken something. Yeah. Oh, he's got him where he wants him. Here we go. Uh, and I bet Seth's been the cover. the victory. Here is your winner, Seth Freaking Rollins. A very impressive victory for Seth Rollins. Well, Rollins certainly seems pleased with himself tonight. Rollins got what he wanted and what he deserved, the win. Yeah, 
right, now we're talking. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from North Carolina, weighing in at 218 pounds, Kenny Omega. The WWE Universe delivering quite a reaction, perhaps the most highly anticipated match of the night. Oh, good luck. You're in the fight of your life against the dead man. This is an extraordinary sight. Goosebump inducing. The awe-inspiring entrance of The Undertaker. Darkness has completely engulfed this entire building. Admit it, Byron, you're scared. A little bit. We are seeing a legend in the flesh. And his opponent from Death Valley, weighing in at 299 pounds. The WWE Champion, The Undertaker! The magnificence of the Phenom. Truly a mesmerizing scene. The legendary Phenom creates an atmosphere unlike anything you will see. Talk to anyone who's ever been in the ring opposite The Undertaker, and they will tell you nothing prepares you for this. The stoic walk of the dead man. You know, Undertaker is a time-honored warrior of the ring. No matter what you do, I'm not sure there's anything that prepares you for The Undertaker. So many superstars have stood across the ring from the dead man, paralyzed with fear. Abandon all hope. The dead man has risen. Just look into the eyes of The Undertaker, cold, dark, menacing. There's no one like him, and that's what makes him so dangerous. Really a one-of-a-kind icon. His personality, the way he moves in the ring, his offense, no one does it like The Undertaker. Yeah, The Undertaker is truly exceptional. He's as unique as they come in this business. But as the champ, they have to know that there's a list in the locker room a mile long of people who want what they have. Exhibit A, right there in the ring with them, right now. Oh yeah, they've been waiting to get a chance to prove they belong in the contendership conversation. Caught in a bad position here. Driven down face first. Oh dear, this doesn't look good. Alley -oop. Down with the leg drop. Oh, now it's roll up. And he managed 
the kick out at one. He's nowhere near ready to stop fighting yet. Good timing with that reversal. Undertaker has been one of the most feared competitors in WWE for decades now. What is it that has kept him in the upper echelon so long? Well, it's not one thing, Cole. It's everything. But Taker took it a step further. He's been able to summon the supernatural, which has taken him from feared to spine chilling. Next level physical skills mixed with sheer terror is what made Undertaker who he is. My, oh my, what elevation! Uh oh. Hits him with the counter. And he's got him by the neck. Look at this! He's got him down. Is this it? Back to the ribs. Continuing to attack the neck. Oh, draped over the top rope. Setting him up for the flatliner. Showing Taker that he's maybe not so intimidated by him. Knee drop. Reversal by The Undertaker. Caught with that sharp elbow. He was... Uh-oh, double underhook. This is gonna be nasty. Oh my goodness! Butterfly pile driver. Crucial moment for The Undertaker. Saw that coming. Chills have to be running up your spine after The Undertaker is able to kick out like that. All of that work, all these big moves, and it still didn't earn the fall. First, a knife edge chop, and now continuing the attack on the knee. Straight to the knee. Undertaker is now under pressure. Any attempts of offense from The Undertaker are being sapped. Undertaker moves just in time. Oh, man, inverted backbreaker. Ow! Headlock. Oh, a cheap shot right above the eye. Big back body drop. He's looking a little weary now. Yeah, you gotta figure you'll be hurting this far into a match against The Undertaker. Kick! Oh! This could be an opportunity. He's positioned up on that turnbuckle. These men have shown no indication of staying down. Their guts. It could be over here. This is it. Got it. No, just a two. That is just pure instinct at this point. The Undertaker scoops him up. Two stone pile driver. Taker's about to end Next another fight. Oh, and he just kicked out. Unreal. Unreal to kick out there. Not only unlikely, downright extraordinary. I think The Undertaker might be happy about that kick out. He has dished out a beating, and it looks like it's not done. Oh, fought back with an elbow right to the jaw. <laughs> what a forearm. Released. Taking it outside the ring now. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Drops the leg. The end is looming now. These are dire straits for him. He needs to be extra cautious now. And returning to the ring. He wants even more out of his opponent. Have to head back into the ring now. Yeah, count's running out. Hooked up. Oh, shin breaker. 
The admiration for these superstars is echoing throughout this arena right now. Oh, boom! Backdrop suplex! What a high angle right across the shoulders. somehow counter, fighting desperately to find a way out, and they do. Leg drop across the throat. So much damage inflicted. Undertaker turning up the intimidation factor. Undertaker gets reversed. Kicking off from the ropes. He's got the Undertaker dead to rights, and it looks like the gunslinger's out of ammo. As the arms hooked, has to put up and driven down with a Tiger Driver 98. He is in complete control. Resiliency. And back elbow creates separation. Taker has him up. Here we go. Tombstone pile driver. The Undertaker just ended this. Two count. It's over. Undertaker gets it done. Here is your winner, The Undertaker! The win goes to The Undertaker. The legend of The Undertaker grows with this emphatic victory by the Phenom. MMA pioneer, 
In fact, Shayna Baszler finished most of her matches by submission. And those skills have translated to WWE Women's Division dominance. Is it just me, or does Shayna sometimes seem mean-spirited? They call that killer instinct, Saxton. And trust me, it's a good thing. Gentlemen, pay respects to your double champion. I already am. Well, double your respects, then. And from the Queen City, the NXT Women's Champion, and the NXT Women's Champion, Charlotte Flair. She has to be riding high with those two titles in hand. All that work she put in has clearly paid off, and she's got both of those championships to prove it. We are looking at one of the greatest competitors in women's division history, and there's your proof. She is tough, she is determined, and she is standing tall at the top of WWE. Match underway, and Flair is ready as ever. The Queen is always ready for action, Cole. It just comes with the territory. Charlotte was born and bred for this business and for greatness, and she reminds us all... Uh-oh, Dragon Sleeper applied. This could be it. The Showing the world just how much fight she's got left. Into the corner. This can't be good. Bang it back with their own counter. Oh. Vicious shoulder tackle in the corner. And Shayna experiencing a bit more fight there than she may have expected the cover. Still keeping this going. Right to the leg. Uh-oh, Dragon Sleeper applied. This could be it. She's in a tremendous amount of pain as she... Showing the world just how much fight she's got left. Ooh, she responds with a counter. Charlotte once again proving for the victory here. She kicks out with force. She just dug down deep there, but I don't know if she'll be able to do it again. She sent flying into the corner, and she had Charlotte's number there. Oh, no. She could be caught here. Bad situation for her. Cross arm bar locked. You gotta respect her continued effort to get out of this, to continue fighting, to survive. Elbow puts an end to that. She's able to take a stand there. Now's a chance for Baszler to get back into this match. Saw it coming and slowed it down with the back elbow. Oh, and a backbreaker! Right to the spine. An onslaught of offense from Flair. Well, we'll see Shayna struggling much longer. Insults have been hurled both in person and online, but now they can finally settle things in the ring. It's been a long time coming, and the WWE Universe has been looking forward to it almost as eagerly as these superstars. Their rivalry certainly has turned this into a must-see match.
She heads out of the ring. Interesting strategy. That attack might have diminished Charlotte's sense of superiority. That's Ooh. not right. Oh, there goes the ankle. And again. Nothing good happens when we see this look from Shayna Baszler. The Queen of Spades is lighting her up. Lethal combination. Hooked up. Shin breaker. Great counter by Baszler. Action needs to return to the ring and fast. Able to get the advantage here. Kick right to the leg. Oh, look out. It's on now. Oh, that backfire. Both competitors showing how well they know him. So much pride, so much resiliency on display. This is a war of attrition with neither superstar wanting to be the one who surrenders. Oh, I know what's coming next. Here it is. And with that, you can just see how absolutely pleased Basil is with herself at this point. As she should be. From the top, elbow drop. Good Lord. Looking for the victory. Two forces the shoulder up after two. A long two and a half in the waning moments of this match. Technique on display against Basil. Just fall away slam. She's looking for the win. There it is. Charlotte is your winner. Here is your winner. Charlotte Flair. And Charlotte picks up the win here tonight. Just remember, a defeated Queen of Spades is an angry, dangerous Queen of Spades.